I'm happy to announce the publication of From Foundation to Summit. From January through March of 1997, in the Santa Cruz Mountains of Northern California, a teaching took place that soon became legendary among the Nyingma students of the Dujum Teresar lineage. Lama Tarchin Rinpoche asked Orgin Chowang Rinpoche to teach on Kyabje Tinli Norba Rinpoche's recently composed text, A Cascading Waterfall of Nectar. This was nine years before it became available in English. The subject demonstrably was on the Dujum Tersangundro, the preliminary or foundational practices. But as characterizes the teachings of Tinli Norba Rinpoche, this teaching was both vast and profound, rooted in the view of the great perfection, Dzogchen, and is therefore nectar for all practitioners of the Nyingma tradition. Thus, while on the surface these teachings are on the foundational practices, both these books represent the entire path to the very peak. In From Foundation to Summit, the foundational practices are covered in detail. The introduction explains the connection between Buddhas and sentient beings, the views of nihilism and eternalism as compared to the primordial basis and primordial appearance, the importance of the teacher, and much more. It then gets into the outer foundational practices and the critical reflections on our precious human rebirth, impermanence and death, karma, and the sufferings of samsara. It then goes into an extremely clear and detailed account of how to take refuge from the heart, develop the mind of awakening, offer the mandala, purification practice of Vajrasattva, and then guru yoga, essential to make progress on the path. It also discusses the practices of Poa, Chud, and Dream Yoga. And it culminates in a deep discussion of Dzogchen, covering a wide range of topics, including the ultimate Lama, Rigpa, Trek Chud and Togal, emptiness, the five states of Dzogchen, Guru Yoga and Dzogchen, and much more. Here's Urgen Chowang Rinpoche talking a bit about the Dzogchen section. Especially Dzogchen, uh, lots of explanation of Dzogchen, um, particularly Chiyong Rinpo Chimzot, treasure of Dharma Tartu, yeah, that's uh, many places, uh, uh, you know, uh, bring quotations from Chiyong Rinpo Chimzot. I thought that's very profound, beautiful. There are many commentaries throughout the book on Chiyong Rinpo Chimzot, and I that's really uh, very profound, also commentaries are very clear. And particularly when in Guru Yoga time, your mind merges in Guru Rinpoche's mind. That point in Tali Norimboche explain beautiful Dzogchen view. Also that's available, therefore this is uh, uh, not just only Ngundo, but the Dzogchen is very profound here. And then anybody can, you know, like Ngundo practice, well benefit this. And also anybody interested in Dzogchen, well like, clearly understanding, Dzogchen well benefit this. I think people enjoy reading this, Dzogchen practitioners and Vajrayana practitioners or someone new to Vajrayana also can open eye what's really the Dzogchen Vajrayana is. <laughs> 